Good morning, everybody. We're at Banker's Life Fieldhouse, and this is Saturday morning, obviously. But last night, Bob Gardner was the opening of something really cool. Tell us what it was. Oh, absolutely. The yeah. Jurassic World Live Tour opened here last night, and the crowds are loving it. The families are just coming in, and the kids are so excited about it. The parents are excited about it. It's It's been a really great show. Overall, it is sort of, an, uh, reenactment is the wrong word, but it represents the film, the hugely popular film, right? Yes. Yeah. So it actually falls between the first Jurassic World movie and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, it, it follows some science scientists on the other side of the island with their dinosaur and it, it kind of starts right where the first movie leaves off and it follows them for a few months right before the okay. second movie. So if you're sitting here watching it here this weekend because it's going to be here Saturday today and Sunday. Yes. That's right. Do you see kind of a show with a story? Oh absolutely. Oh, okay. it's, it's definitely a story driven show. Yeah. Um, Feld Entertainment has done a lot of big productions but this is the first story driven show. Um, it's got some brand new characters and some new dinosaurs for the show as well. And we're going to see those a little later. Absolutely. But first tell me what this is, Bob. Okay, so in our show we have seven different species of dinosaurs. And really? some of okay. them are, are worn. Uh, we, as performers, we have to be very athletic because they're between Heavy. 100. They're between 120 and 145 pounds. Uh, so these rigs were built so that we could learn how to puppeteer these dinosaurs without having to bear the weight of it the entire show time. Show me what to do. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place one hand here, and I like to put the other one right here. This is gonna control the mouth, this will give her the, the no action. This will give you the rotating of your head. And this will lower oh, and I'm elevate I'm a big the puppet head. fan. This is not the kind of puppet I usually put. <laughs> I have a howdy doody puppet. OK. Perfect. So the person in the, in the, in the outfit, which we will see, yes, sir. will be doing this to make it seem more lifelike. Absolutely. But just to wrap this up, but we don't really consider this or do we, animatronics? Well, because we have seven different species of dinosaurs in the show, they're all controlled very differently. Some of them are worn like a puppet, and others are driven completely and remote controlled, and those are definitely animatronics. Okay, final shot of this. This is from the movie. Yes? Yes. Okay, and we'll talk about that, and we'll talk about, uh, we'll see some of the dinosaurs. Oh, absolutely. This is very cool. Today, a uh, Saturday day and Saturday night, or just Saturday night? A Saturday all day and Sunday as well. Uh, terrific. And you can get the tickets at JurassicWorldLiveTour.com. I'm glad you put that in. Back to the studio. Very cool. All inside our own Banker's Life Fieldhouse mm -hmm. this weekend. Dinos coming alive. A lot of kids, I think, are going to love that. Well, I think a lot of, a lot of adults are probably going to love that, too. Big kids, too, would love it, too, right? <laughs> But I'm just saying, I'm thinking of my five-year-old son would just go nuts. Just looking up like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're tall, that big guys. That's neat, though. And yeah. what the, the detail, the amount of detail you'll see when, they're, when they have it all put together. It's pretty Throughout incredible. the show, too. Yeah. We'll check in with Dick in another hour.